Hey everyone, I'm back with another video, and it's another tier list video, and today I'm going to be doing it for the best head coaches of NFL teams. First of all, there's Unstoppable, which is the best. There's Good, which is, you know, good coach. There's Alright. They're alright, right? They're good enough to be an NFL coach. Matt is, you know, whatever. They're just average. And there is Awful. So they are very bad. So we're going to start with Doug Peterson. And I'm going to say he's good because this year he really changed the Jaguars franchise. I could put him in Unstoppable, but I'm not going to just because it was his first year. But yeah, I think Doug Peterson is really, really good. And the Dolphins. I also think Mike McDaniels is a very good coach as well. I could put him in all right, like the way the Dolphins finished, but their quarterback was hurt. So I'm going to say Mike McDaniels is a good head coach. Dan Campbell. Gosh, I love this guy. I don't know. Good. I'm going to put him in all right. He's turned the Lions around. He almost took him to the playoffs. I want to put him in good, but I just don't think I can yet. Okay, I'm not going to. All right. Um, I forgot this guy's name but uh saints were pretty bad last year i'm gonna give it an all right he really had to deal with quarterbacks andy dalton james winston Taysom hill you know dealing with a lot of quarterbacks is hard arthur smith he is all right he actually has not done too bad with what he has he does have, you know, an elite corner, elite tight end, and he's got Drake London, who is going to be in elite wide receiver someday. Not yet, because he's very young, and this was only his first year. Um, so yeah, Arthur Smith is all right. He is, I would say, good. He's this is more of great. And this is more of good. Andy Reid is an elite head coach. He's taken the Chiefs to three Super Bowls in five years. Uh, they do get a lot of help from the refs, but I actually really, I don't like the team, but I really like Andy Reid as a person, and I think he's a very good coach, and I think he deserves to be top tier. Texans, uh, oh yeah, he's the 49ers defensive coordinator. We really don't know yet, so the guys I don't know, I'm just going to put them in awful because I just don't know. Um, Matt Uberflus. He had the worst team in the league. I'm just going to say mm, awful. His team was really bad. Justin Fields had no help and, or anything like that. So that's kind of his fault for not getting anybody. So I'm going to say he's awful. Panthers head coach. Frickin' A. Uh, I don't know. I'm sorry, guys, if I keep forgetting the names of these coaches. I know most of them. Um, Panthers were bad. They had to trade up and give up, like, their entire future. So, I think that was very dumb. So, I'm going to give them meh. I am. I'm, I mean, awful. They were bad this year. Giants. Brian Dable. Very good coach. Just like these two new head coaches. Good. Took their team to the playoffs. And won. I mean, the Dolphins didn't, didn't win. But he won coach of the year. First year, he did a very good job, and I really like the guy. He's cool, he's fun, and he really hangs out with the team and makes football a great game. Jets, Robert Sala, he is all right. See, the Jets, they were good in the beginning, and I would have put him up here, but now I'm going to put him down here just because he, his team kind of fell off towards the end. And um, I don't think he's bad. He's kind of like Dan Campbell in the sense where they're they're like – good they're like right on the edge of good but i would probably put them in all right instead just because they're more of an all right coach than a good coach all right Steelers mike tomlin he is elite he's one of the best head coaches in the league no below five no losing seasons in almost 20 years at the steelers so i think that's all i have to say cowboys mike mccarthy is meh I don't like Mike McCarthy. I think his team carries him, and I think his offensive and defensive coordinators are very good. He's just a fat bum who's there. Zach Taylor, also a very good head coach. Very close to unstoppable. He's taken his team to the AFC Championship two years in a row. 
So I'm going to say good, but next year he will be unstoppable. Like I will tell you that if they make another championship. 49ers, Kyle Shanahan. I am going to give you the top tier. Kyle Shanahan is very good. He always finds a way to take his team to higher levels, even with the last pick in the 2022 NFL draft and Brock Purdy. And he has taken them to a Super Bowl, two Super Bowls, technically one with Atlanta and one with the 49ers. Hasn't won one, but I think the 49ers will win very soon. Eagles, Nick Sirianni, second year elite. He has been so good. His team has been so great. He deserves to be number one. Eagles are the best team in the league. I don't care. The Chiefs might have won the Super Bowl, but they had to cheat to win. So Eagles on top. All right, the Bills. Gosh, um, Sean McDermott. I don't like him, but the Bills have been doing very good lately. I would not say unstoppable because they keep losing, which is interesting because their team is so good and they're always hyped up. Uh, but, yeah, I would say he's a good coach. Ron Rivera, he is all right. On the Panthers, he was unstoppable, but I'm going to say he's all right just because now he's just meh. He's just not amazing. Okay, it's not Cliff Kingsbury anymore. I don't know the guy's name, but since we don't know, I'm going to say in the kind of we don't know yet, right? Um, Titans Mike Vrabel, he is another elite coach. He has done a lot for this Titans franchise with Ryan Tannehill, a very average quarterback. Took him to the number one seed last year. I know this year they did not make the playoffs, but I would not blame that on him. Injuries took a toll on this team, man. He is an elite head coach. Brendan Staley is all right. In the beginning of the year, I would have said good, but he probably has to go to Tokyo very soon with Cliff, with Cliff Kingsbury. But, yeah, uh, I don't think Brandon Staley is bad. I don't think he is amazing. So, yeah, uh, that's where I will put Brandon Staley. We have got Kevin O'Connell. I'm going to say he's very good. They went The Vikings went 13-4, and four, won the division. But they did not win their games by a lot. By usually one score or less, like three points. I know that's one score, but still. Not a very consistent-looking team. Lost in the first round of the playoffs to Brian Dable, like I said, is in the good category as well. They have Justin Jefferson, Kirk Cousins. You know, Kirk Cousins is okay. But, yeah, we're not ranking quarterbacks right now, okay? Um, the Colts, Frank Reich, he was bad with the Panthers. But, heck, he might be good with the Colts. We don't know. Anthony Richardson, he might be good with him. Young quarterback who's literally 20 years old might be good with Frank Reich. I don't know. Seahawks, Pete Carroll, I would say, is an elite coach. He has done so much. 13 years at the Seahawks, won a Super Bowl, played in two Super Bowls, had Russell Wilson, I know. But he has been very consistent with the team. They literally had a winning record with Geno Smith last year. Nobody would have guessed that. I I was always like, oh my gosh, yeah, the Broncos won the trade. Heck, they might have won the trade if Russ plays well this year, but we'll see. Patriots, Bill Belichick, obviously is an elite coach, won six Super Bowls. Actually, two with the Giants as a defensive coordinator. I know that's not the Patriots, but yeah, he has won eight rings, six as a head coach. Obviously, in my opinion, the best head coach of all time. So yeah, he kind of deserves to be in top tier. Even though his team hasn't been very good lately, Josh McDaniels is awful. He is terrible. Carried by Bill Belichick. His team was very bad. They benched Derek Carr for a third string quarterback for some reason. I do not know why. Very weird. Um, but yeah, Josh McDaniels is terrible. John Harbaugh, another elite head coach, has done so much for the Ravens franchise. He uh, won a Super Bowl with them with Joe Flacco. He st continues to make the playoffs even when Lamar Jackson is hurt. He wins. He's a winner. Lamar Jackson is a winner. They are a winning duo. Matt LaFleur, he is a good co coach. I would have said I would have said unstoppable, but I don't think he is. He might almost be on the all right part just because 
his team just does not win in the playoffs. If they if they've made a Super Bowl, won a Super Bowl in the Matt Lafleur era, I would probably say unstoppable. But I cannot. I'm gonna say good. He is a good coach, but I cannot say he's unstoppable, man. He's not nearly as good as any of these coaches. Todd Bowles, absolute garbage. He's literally the worst coach I have ever seen. Lost Buccaneers the game against the Cowboys. Made me very, very upset. Very upset. All right. Um, what's his name? Ken Stefanski. He is very good. Reminds me of Brandon Staley. Very solid coach. Very good coach. Um, uh, not the best, but they are very solid and can win their team games. So, yeah. All right is a good category to be in. It's not a bad category. I don't want people thinking that. The Rams. Sean McVay. I would say he is good. I know people are probably going to be like, why is he not in Unstoppable? He's not in Unstoppable just because his team was so bad last year. But he probably deserves to be up here, but I'm going to put him down here. Broncos, Sean Payton. Um, He is probably an unstoppable coach. I would say so. Won a Super Bowl with the Saints. He did have Drew Brees as his quarterback. One of the best quarterbacks of all time, in my opinion. Top five. But... He also was a coach. He coached He coached everyone. He gave out plays. He won that Super Bowl for New Orleans. So, yeah, I would say he is an elite head coach. Hope you guys enjoyed this, uh, this little video of ranking head coaches. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to subscribe, and I will keep making these tier list videos. I love all of you guys so much. Like I said, please subscribe. Stay tuned for more of these videos if you enjoy them, and I will see you guys in the next video.